Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Nilnar, and for this first look Monday we are going to do Dragon Quest 2 Builders or Dragon Quest Builders 2. And this is an older game. It's been around for many many years. I've played it multiple times, beaten it at least once, but you can also just sit there and build and build and build. So it's kind of interesting. It's a little bit of a different take and it's an older game, but it's still it still has something to it, um, especially for those that like things like Minecraft. It kind of takes Minecraft and puts a little questing behind it, a little functionality. Um, so we're, we're going to go in and do a, a few episodes of this, see what you think of it. If you like it, we'll do more. If you don't, well, we'll switch off to something else. Uh, it is pretty simple movement keys, WASD, if you're doing by keyboard you can use a, a controller uh, you can uh, change your camera with the uh, mouse wheel and you jump with spacebar so we kind of jump we can go back and forth we can uh, move or you just move the mouse for the camera that's right um should have known that hey right, can we talk to this guy huh that's good i'm glad he didn't talk back to me we can rest we can examine it's, uh, it's a stinky pot. We don't want to examine that too much. So, more of this. This is part two. Part one, um, I don't have that one on the PC. I do have it on one of my Switches or Xbox or something. But I figured I'd start out with number two. But uh, this is many years after the first one's over with. And the uh, evil uh, king... Uh, I forget what he's called. Um, but the evil was killed. Now all the monsters have been running loose. They've been slowly trying to gather and figure out how they can take back over power. And somewhere along the way, you're a new builder uh, in a world of builders that are slowly dying off, if very few and far between. But you are a full builder. You, you're trained. And you got captured somewhere along the way. Um, doesn't really tell you how you got captured. You just get captured. So, the first thing to do is we have that skeleton... Uh, talk to us but we got all kinds of mobs here can't attack them right now but they they will all talk to you tell you how to move around things of that nature so let's let's kind of go through this section as quick as possible we'll go talk to this guy we're open ocean yeah it's it's pretty much open there's nothing around us and so they're, they threaten to kill me, all kinds of stuff, but give me some food to eat. So it talks about how you can use that to heal yourself. So you have to eat it. Yeah, yeah, you always say that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're awful mouthy there. Wait until I get something to attack you. So you have your skeleton fighter types. Um, you can make food. You do have a health bar and food bar that you have to keep an eye on. Um, it's not too hard to keep it up, though there are some areas that it's harder than others. Yep, so in order to stay alive, i got to follow what he says to do. Try to find out how up the paddle. I might add and go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. So we gotta go talk to these guys. Where are we selling to? Don't know. Some some place that he doesn't know where. Children of Hagan, that's who it is, Hagan. Uh, bring back using the High Priest. Goomans, once and for all. Yeah, hey, yeah, uh, some of you guys are nice, just because you are. These guys are kind of a, a bat one.
Yeah, yeah. Talk to this guy. Basically, just a matter of talking to all these guys. Basically, say they they're trying to try to take us down. Um, the Edric killed all the Hargan, and now we have to basically. Take up where the hero left off and take care of these. Yeah, just a quick introduction. And this really is about getting us used to how to build things, how to eat, how to fight, things of that nature. So there we go, we talked to him. Now we talk to him some more. So put the ship back and right. We need to get the uh, driftwood. So we need to go over here to each one of these and punch it. Grab the logs. Oops. Fall down. Go back up. Later on, we'll have more control over things. But right now, everything is... Whoop. Okay, one more piece here. There you go, did that. Ah, what do I need to do next? you basically because you'll hit back I just want to get through this yeah. okay we gotta go talk to other people and help them out so what's he want So use the wood to make torches. Okay. Yep. Oil and wood makes a torch. So we got five torches we gotta... So now we gotta make torches. So we come over to workbenches. And you get to create workbenches, newer workbenches. As you go along you get more items so we need to create five of those so we just hit to enter to build it uh, we'll create one because it automatically creates five when we do that so we can put that in there and then right click to place it and I gotta remember there's a hole right there I always want to hit it on there on there Okay, one down, now we gotta find the next person to talk to. He's up here. I'm just doing what I asked.
and you gotta you will lose this fight by default. Or I guess not. I know you lose one. book thinking thing up I got an idea for something Yay! paper stick don't make him a cypher stick Yep, yep, you got any equipment. I I know. So we'll go make this stick. And get back out of that. And my inventory. I won't let me go to inventory yet, that's right. You gotta get past this before you can do that, so I'm gonna equip it. So much easier with the stick. There you go. I give you some entertainment. Eh, I don't really, but. Yep, now we gotta help one more person. No land in sight. No land whatsoever. Let's go help this guy here. Switch between those using the yeah. mouse button in the center. You base your scroll wheel. So now I can pick things up. He wants us basically to put them all away. You can hold down the shift and you can run a little bit quicker. You do have a stamina bar that you have to watch out for. But it, it, it's not too bad. I said the wrong key. I was hitting E and not F. One more to go. So now we have a builder for lifting things. We have weapons for attacking and later on we'll get other things for doing other things. You see how quick it is to switch back and forth between them. So let's talk to this guy. Yeah, continue building. 
I'm already a master builder, you just don't know it yet. Yeah, yeah. Just joking. Yeah, yeah. Builder, you'll do nicely. Somebody's talking, but we don't know who it is yet. The one thing I don't like on this game is when these scenes go, you just gotta wait. And it takes, uh, they, I probably should have turned up the message speed. I don't know if I can do that at the moment. No, I can't. Um, I should have turned up the message speed because I think you can make it a little faster, though this here, it's not real fast. Actually, I think I have the message speed turned up with just this. You just have to wait. Okay, now we gotta go back down. about done with this. Come on, get up. Before I go, there's no one in that shell. I was thinking there was other people. Another... Ain't nothing fancy there. We just gotta go in here and help him out. Yep, boat's leaking. Oh, we gotta pick this up, take it up here, put it in, and seal that hole. There we go. Not better. Oh. Yep, that's why we got more boxes here. Because of course the monsters don't know how to do this. That's what we're here for. We're we'll only be doing this for a little bit longer. Take out the whole back. Okay, there's those three. If you get hit again, we're in trouble. Huh? Yep, there it goes. Nope, we don't. And there goes the ship. That's okay, that was just a tutorial level. Just enough to get us uh, ready to go. Basically, if you've never played uh, the first one, it kind of gives you the second one. I really hope at some point they do decide to make a, a three of this. It, I mean, these are not perfect games. They have a lot of things to go. But all in all, they're good. And if you can play with the music, the music on this is really good. Um, I do like the soundtrack. Kind of gives you an upbeat and helps you out. Um, 
I had to mute the music so you can't hear the music. Um, I don't want to take a chance. They're very picky on the music. It kind of gives you an idea of some characters you meet and things you're doing. This It's not necessarily everything you do or see or have to get into, but variations of it. So you do meet all these people that you want to see and related ones. This just kind of gives you a little quick view. And even if you turn music off, this one does have a soundtrack, so bear with me while I turn that off. This and get back to normal mode. I'll turn back on the game sound for you. And basically, it's you and a buddy. And you'll get a two or three buddies that help you out, but he's more of the fighter type where you're the builder type. So you do learn a few weapon skills, but not nearly as good as he is. And now we're going to load into the next scene. And we should be good with the music off now. I will have to go through a mute, make sure it's all muted good as we go through. Now we'll put a link below for the Steam download of this so you can get your own copy. And it's worth trying out. I mean, it's not the best game in the world, but it's not the worst. Um, especially if you like things like Minecraft, it's very similar to that. But more with a little bit of survivaling and uh, building. A lot of building. It's really good building. You can build all kinds of things. And you will, as you go through, build all kinds of things. That's what it was. These are seaweeds. I get some sand. I don't need the sand right now, but I do need the seaweed. So I'm going to get a, collect a bunch of that to start out with. Get some wood here. That one doesn't let me take it out. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do that. I was trying to get a little food in me. I've got there's toggle, so there is chests. over that way. And a couple more pieces of food. I'll come back this way and I'll clear this out at some point. Go ahead and take care of the sand here. This island will be all over. It's the Isle of Awakening, as it says there. But this is where your main home base will always be. Um, we won't stay here. We'll do a few things and then we'll come back and forth from here to other areas to pick up friends Pick up new skills new weapons And there's a guy there Okay, let's go meet our buddy a partner in crime Yep, I'm gonna print this builder. Okay, he's gonna take me off to the next stage, which is actually where you get into the meat of it. I want to do that on the next episode to get into the meat because it's quite a bit of little challenge there. We'll try to get it knocked out on the next one. It's still a little bit of tutorial base. Um, teaches you a little bit of the other stuff. 
as well as uh, get you into your first main area of working. But I hope you enjoyed this first look. If you did, please hit the uh, subscribe button or like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And we will see you on the next one.